again YouTube, Tiffany here. This video is a vlog that I did a couple months ago and it's me making mashed potato soup that turned out so good. I made it one more time after this vlog. In the vlog you'll hear me mention Jared over and over. Uh, Jared is my husband. We've been married for about a little over seven months now so yay! <laughs> So yeah, let's go on a cooking adventure. <sighs> Greetings from my itty bitty kitchen. Warning, warning, for your own safety, stay away from this area. <clears throat> I need to do my dishes. <laughs> All right, so I've gathered you all here today because I am fixing to try a different recipe. It's one I found in a magazine and it's called mashed potato soup. And it sounded really good to me because I love mashed potatoes and it seems fairly easy to make. I've never really made a soup before so this will be a journey for both of us. <laughs> so right now I've got four potatoes. So I got my four potatoes. This one is like extremely huge. Look how big it is compared to my head. I mean come on that's pretty big. So I'm supposed to I'm supposed to poke holes in the potato all over and microwave it um, until it's cooked. It says like 12 to 15 minutes. So let's do that. Hurry up! I don't have all day. Uh, did I mention that Jared's gonna be home from work in about an hour? And I still have a lot of steps to go on the soup. So I'm part way through this process of um peeling the potatoes or whatever and i just realized that it'd be so much easier if i had a potato peeler it takes me forever with this knife and it's really hot so it's like hard to touch it and stuff <sighs> okay i finally got the peelings off the potatoes and now i'm gonna try to mash this Whew, finally got those potatoes peeled and mashed. I think they still need to be mashed a little bit more. Still some chunks in there, but got that far. Next, I'm gonna, um, call it was the microwave. Um, I have to melt this four tablespoons of butter down, and then, um, once it's melted down, blah, 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 blah. I gotta add a third a cup of flour into it and whisk it for about two minutes until it's smooth and light golden okay and then I add like four cups of milk and whisk it until it's thick about five to six minutes so here we go uh doesn't this look kind of weird this is the butter and the flour mixed up it says it's supposed to be do it uh let's whisk it until it's smooth and light golden it looks chunky and yellow to me am i doing this right i don't know what i'm doing well once this looks light golden to me i'm going to add four cups of milk to it so yeah and then we'll be getting to business putting the potatoes in and some cheese so i was kind of worried because this milk wasn't thickening up like it was supposed to but it's kind of starting to get there. I mean, I don't really know how thick it's supposed to get. I'm going to give it a couple more minutes. And then um, I add in a cup of cheese. But I really like cheese, so uh, it's like a heaping cup. I might add more, too. <laughs> but I add that and the potatoes and some salt and pepper. And I just uh, mix that up until it says the cheese is melted and the soup is heated through. And then at the very end, I add in half a cup of um, sour cream. And I'm cooking some bacon right here to crumble and put on top of the soup. So yeah, I'm really hoping this turns out good. Jared should be pulling in like any second, and I'm not done, so. Oh well, he can wait. By the way, this is turkey bacon. I started buying it because it is like a lot better for you than regular bacon. It's got like 70% less fat. And... It tastes really good to me, and Jared likes it, so, yeah. Oh my gosh, it looks so good! It's really bubbling right now. <laughs> and, um, it's pretty chunky, but 
When I'm eating a soup, I like it to be more chunky than soupy, so that's good. It's like that because I, I didn't mash up my potatoes, like, all the way. Bacon's almost done. Probably fixing to add the sour cream into this. Well, I put the sour cream in it, and I just tasted it, and it's like super hot, but it tastes really good. I'm fixing to crumble up this bacon and put on top of it. Well, here's the finished product. That is bacon on top of it, and these are some rolls that I made last night. I actually made them. I had never made rolls before, and I was very happy because they turned out good, and they, they taste like awesome. They look kind of flat, but... They, they turned out really good, I thought. So, had some of those left from last night and can dip them in the potato soup. It's gonna be so good. Oh, yay, I did a good job. So, Jared doesn't wanna be on camera, but just wanted to let you guys know it got a thumbs up from him. So, yeah. <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel if you liked this video. Even if you didn't like this video, please subscribe anyways. <laughs> and like this video and comment on it. And I thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.